Hello YouTube and welcome to 5 facts about apparatus used in labs by scientists. Number 1. Beakers. A beaker is a glassware that is used mainly as a container to hold a liquid or a solid in it. Beakers can also be used to carry out simple reactions in them or heat chemicals. They can come in many different sizes. For example, there are 250 milliliters beakers and 500 milliliters beakers. Number 2. Conical flasks. A conical flask has a shape of a cone with a cylindrical neck and a rounded flat bottom. It has a similar function to that of a beaker because liquids can be placed inside them and they can be heated as well. They are commonly used in a process called a titration where the concentration of a chemical needs to be determined. Having a narrow cylindrical neck, mixing of chemicals is much easier in a conical flask because they are less likely to spill. They also come in different sizes. Number 3. Test tubes and boiling tubes. Test tubes and boiling tubes are very similar but a boiling tube tends to be wider than a test tube. They both are used to carry out chemical reactions and simple tests. From the name, you can tell that a boiling tube is more ideal to heating or boiling different chemicals when compared to a test tube. Since a boiling tube is wider, then it is easier to heat chemicals while reducing the chances of bumping. Bumping is a process where a chemical is heated so fast that it can be expelled from the container. Therefore a boiling tube is much safer to heat in it. Both test tubes and boiling tubes can be held in a test tube rack so that they can stay upright without falling. Number 4. Retort Stand. A retort stand is an apparatus used to hold different apparatus on it. For example a retort stand can hold a boiling tube or a test tube firmly. Retort stands too are used a lot during the process of titration. Number 5. Bunsen Burner. A Bunsen burner is an apparatus used to heat chemicals. When using the Bunsen burner it is important to make sure that the air hole is closed before turning it on. Once it is turned on, a yellow flame is produced. Then open the air hole to produce the blue flame. It is the blue flame that is used to heat chemicals because it is hotter and more stable. When a large quantity of a chemical is heated, it is placed in a beaker. The beaker is held over the Bunsen burner by resting on a wire gauze and a tripod. It is important to note that when you write the word Bunsen burner, the B in Bunsen is a capital letter. This is because it is named after a scientist called Robert Bunsen. Which science apparatus did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. You can check other interesting facts by clicking on one of the videos shown in the middle of the screen. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.